How's it going today, guys? Clutch here, once again, playing some more Farming Simulator 19. So, today I wanted to talk a little bit about horses. So this is the uh, one of the new features to Farming Simulator 19. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I didn't know much about it, so I wanted to go through it all and make sure I kind of understood how it all worked. So what better way to do that than to make a video about it? And then you guys can all learn from my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go through all this one part at a time um, If I miss anything, I do apologize, but we'll find out where we, where we can get with this So without any further ado guys, let's pitter-patter Clutch simulations All right for horses the first thing you're going to need is a horse pen So you'll go into your placeable items bring up the uh, animal pens and scroll to the right and you will find a horse paddock and a large horse paddock. The price difference is obviously about 50,000, 45,000 to be exact. And the difference between these two is that one is uh, 16 horses, the small one is only eight. So those are the only real differences. Um, the price per day is almost cut in half as well. So it's, it correlates directly essentially. So those are the two options. We're just gonna go with a small paddock for now, that's fine. Um, yeah, and now the next problem is you're going to need to place it. So let's see what we got for options here. All right, so to begin with, some of the problems you're gonna have with the place in the paddock is just finding a suitable location. Now, first of all, it's gonna be on a plot of land that you own, um, and then you just gotta find a suitable location. Now you can see here, red says it's colliding with an object. Uh, yellow says the deformation of the train will fail. Um, so you need to find it when it turns green. It's never, it's not quite as easy as you would think. And really what you want to do is minimize the amount of blue you have on the side there. So you can see up in the top left here, I can show you there, it says buy is 50,000. But when I'm getting some of these placements here, it's up around 300,000 because of the amount of terraforming that has to happen. So that's going to go with all your placeables in uh, Farming Sim 19. You really want to try and find a pretty adequate place for it to sit where it's, uh, it's not a lot of blue on the sides there now on pc at least if i hold the control button and left control and then q or e i can sync this down now it usually costs more money but you don't end up with the same kind of hills everywhere you just kind of sink in so we'll try this and see how this works it looks like i've got a little less blue everywhere there I don't know if it's going to be countersunk in there or what. Alright, so let's go take a quick look. Alright, so... Yeah, like here is our small paddock. As you can see, she's kind of countersunk into the ground here. That worked out okay. Now, we paid extra for that. Um, I might be able to get it a little bit better, and that, I, I think it's better to have it... Well, it depends on where your roads are, I guess. And since our access point is right here, I wanted to make sure this was flat. So that would be ideal in that sense. Um, so now, uh, actually, you know what? We can show you across the street here, too. So you can see right there, that hillside there, that was me doing some tests on the far side. And so that's kind of what it wants to do. It wants to build these kind of large plateaus almost everywhere. Um, unfortunately, it sometimes doesn't work out that well. It's rather expensive. This isn't much cheaper. I don't think it is any cheaper. I think it's more expensive, but this I find works a bit better to countersink. I don't know. Maybe not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's expensive and it's not easy. Um, regardless. So uh, this here is animal dialogue on this side of the pen. Once again here, you can choose between all your different types of horses. You've got eight different types, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there we go. So um, yeah, you can choose to pick one up right here. And if you were to buy it, would be five thousand dollars and when they would charge you an extra three hundred dollar uh transport fee so for every horse you buy there's just an additional three hundred dollar transport fee now if you're not planning on buying a lot of horses that's not that big of a deal i guess but if this is something you want to do regularly we have another option so if we were to hit confirm there we would have those horses just show up in our pen the money would be subtracted from our account and we'd be good to go but if you're going to be doing horse selling and buying quite a bit and you want to specialize in in that uh, kind of trade well then there's another option for you all right so same as livestock um, in 17 you can always get a trailer to carry them but you do need a specialized trailer for horses they will not go into 
any of the uh, standard livestock trailers that we had before. So we have this specialty trailer here now. Um, and this will be the only thing as of right now that can carry horses. I'm sure we'll be seeing some with mods in the very near future. But this is the horse trailer. Um, we can take a quick look on where that's hiding actually. So animal transport and it's the very first one, the big western WCF. These other ones will not allow you to carry, to carry horses. In fact, you can read in the bottom there uh, how many of each type of animal it carries. But at the front here, you can see this one is the only one that has the horse symbol. Oh, better get off the tracks. Oh, good thing I was off. Anyway, so it's the only one that does take horses, which is good to know. So we're going to take this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on. Truck does not like this little trailer. It's surprising. Should be able to handle it. Um, so now we'll take this to the livestock stockyards, I guess. And we're going to purchase directly from there. So if I can get this truck straightened out, I will meet you up there. All right. Uh, livestock stockyards. We made it. Perfect. That was a bit of a fight. <laughs> this truck should be able to handle this, but whoa. Need some horses back there, I guess. So we'll just go around the back on this particular map on Raven, uh, Ravenport, or Ravenport, and you will find... You can see I'm trying to test with that uh, that their trailer. See if it would take it. No luck. And pull up. There we go. Open Adam analog dialog. Now, once again, you can see we have every single type of different animal now that we can pick from, but we need to only take horses. And we're only getting two because we can only fit two in that trailer. So I'm going to go with a Pinto and a Palomino. Sure. So Pinto and a Palomino and confirm. Perfect. So we got two horses in our horse trailer. Let's go uh, deliver them now. Oh, this truck is going to struggle. Now, fortunately, I don't think we have that far to go. Our uh, paddock is just up on top of this hill. Try not to spin out. Wow. Come on. This truck should be able to handle a horse trailer. So, like I said, um, yeah, this will save you. I mean, it's only going to save us $600 on this trip. So, unless you're going to be doing this a lot... Yeah, maybe you might just want to just deliver it to the uh, the paddock yourself, or have it delivered automatically to you. So it's not a huge uh, a huge change in price there to to manage to do this by yourself. Um, the trailer itself is not all that expensive either, though. So uh, you got money to burn, right? All right. So we'll pull our trailer up. Whoa. Open animal dialogue. And select. We have our, both of our horses here. Uh, we will move move and move now if you'll see, notice the price on both these horses has dropped as well which is kind of interesting so um they've lost a bit of value since we've moved them out so we'll take care of that in a sec for the next part we'll need to start worrying about food and water for our, our horses uh, just like all our other livestock um and yeah, they're both in there good so we've two got two troughs here uh we'll have to just choose one for food and one for water and I've kind of got overkill here. I could have went with a bit smaller, I suppose, but... Eh, oh well, what do you do? <laughs> Alright, we'll back this one up and over the hill. Come on. Oh, oh this is going to be a fight. I've got too much stuff in there. That truck's my way. You know what? I can just go straight in, because I'm not going to need to get this back out again. Uh, get up there. So now you can see if your paddock is kind of up on a hillside, why it would be so difficult to get it out. Uh, right bumper, and there we go. So that should take care of our water needs for quite some time. Now, next up, we need to worry about food. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, all of our requirements for the horses here. So this is our big bag of oats. We've got some hay, and we've got straw. So the oats and the hay will be for feeding. The straw will be for bedding. Kind of like cows in a sense, almost. I mean, everyone uses straw for bedding, right? But the food is the oats and the hay. Is that right? Yeah, oats and hay. So now if you had a nice farm, if you had a fairly good sized farm, you could be producing this stuff regularly and keeping it for, um, for your animals. However, if you don't, or you're just messing around like me, well, then you can always buy stuff. And this is kind of new. So you've got options in the store to buy bales. So you can see we've got all our, all our tabs up top here. If you go to 
uh, your consumable objects basically with your big bags and, and such you'll have bales at the bottom square bales wheat hay and then even at the back here you've got round uh, round bales of the same thing and you've got silage bales if you want to go that way too um yeah so you've got all these options and then so that's our, our bales uh, back but our big bags you'll have oats so you could obviously produce this on your farm if you planted it but uh you don't need to you could oops i didn't mean to do that you can just go ahead and purchase it if you would like which i have gone ahead and done here so we're going to drag this up i hope this doesn't fall off we'll see i'll have to drive pretty easy here <laughs> i got a forklift with me too just to be so i can unload easier um We'll take it up top and we'll see how this all works out. Yeah, surprisingly enough, we made it up here without any major catastrophe. <laughs> all right, so let's just drop this right here for now. I hope our little thing isn't going to, or uh, forklift is not going to have any issues in here. We'll see. Just get this out of the way. All right, so uh, we should, in theory, now just be able to go and move our uh let's go deal with the food first so that's going to be the hay and the oats so i should be able to take one of our bags now i'm not recommending you transport things the way i did this was just so i could get it up here in one fell swoop but um there are definitely better ways to do this There's a, oops. All right, it's off the trailer at least. I didn't want to knock all those bales over. And Bob's your uncle. All right. So now, in theory, we should just have to place this close to the pen. And there you can hear it loading up. All right, so they've got uh, that. And one way to find out, actually, is if you hit your start button. Uh, and go to your animals. You can see now our horses uh, should have a little bit of oats. There's only 139 uh, liters so far, but that's better than nothing. So we'll leave that. Uh, can I? Yeah, there we go. It wasn't fully emptying. Yet. I was going to say it should have a lot more than that. So you can see now it's fully draining in. Okay. All right. So that's one. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave that for now. But let's grab our uh, our hay. And hay should be green. So that is the grass that has been turned. You know what? I'll grab a watch off this bump. Don't flip this little <laughs> muddy thing. I'm going to grab two. Use the pallet forks for this. That's fine. All right. Come on. What are you guys rubbing on? Didn't see what the heck was grabbing on. Let's try all three then. We're gonna be dirty like that. I can do that. Maybe not. I can't get it off the trailer. It has locked itself on. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll take one. <laughs> I guess I'm taking one. <laughs> All right, so we've got our our hay. Uh, we should be able to do the same thing that we did with our oat bag right there. Just drop it in. So once you get the horses all fed, they've got their oats, they've got their hay. Next, it's time to get the bedding done. So you'll need something to mash up one of these bales. Uh, I'm using a telehandler with uh, a specialty device. I've used the trailer before and that's a little bit easier to be perfectly honest, but I wanted to give this a shot. But the nice thing about this, so uh, I'll just drop this right here, hopefully this works, is that it comes with uh, some hay forks basically. Kind of cool, I don't know if you can kind of see at the front there, those are hay forks that kind of, um, yeah, they come part of this. So I connect this in now and if you look in the top left hand corner you can see that it makes up two parts. So if I put this down, if I put down the whole thing, the hay forks disappear. If I pick up like this, I get hay forks, or hay forks, hay forks. Uh, and of course, then I drop the bale out as well. Now I'm trying to figure out which is gonna be the best way to get this bale in there. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
really should just disable traffic. Okay, so this is going to sit just like this, maybe? I don't know yet. We'll find out. Hopefully this works. Uh, gotcha. Okay, so you can go by. We'll go and connect this back in. It's kind of a little cool system. So this thing is the the Wazzle, the we I don't know anymore. But it's actually relatively inexpensive. So if you already have a telehandler, then this might be the way to go. The Warzel DE551. So there's ones for different telehandlers, obviously. Uh, they're not all the same, but... Alright, so let's bring this around. Hopefully I can keep the... Everything kind of copacetic as far as the bail goes. Um, there's not a great way of uh, locking everything into place, unfortunately. Uh, I need to get around this side over here. And you need to be in the little box that tells you to be in. Let's see. There we go. So now you start getting the uh, dispensing icon. It gives me the option to dispense straw. So I'll put this right here. And I don't even think you have to have it raised up. You should be able to just do whatever you want with it. And it'll start doing its thing. Uh, I think we can move it up. <laughs> it's the old Shea uh, <laughs> straw shower. Uh, that's funny. So uh, that should be it. Let's go take a look at our, our uh, animals, see how we're doing. So we've got lots of water, lots of straw. Food could be better, but you know what? They're, they've got oats, they've got hay. But what about over here? So we've got um, a little problem here, and that there is the fitness of the horse. So we need to take care of that. Let's go take a look. So I got my two horses here. Uh, I think they're named Rain and Verona. Interesting names. <laughs> but uh, so if I hit X, I can jump on up, and we're gonna go for the walk. So I don't know. I haven't done too too much testing to see how much you need to to do for exercise. So we're just going to go for a run across the field here. Uh, can you walk backwards? And it's a little bit different getting used to the controls for horses, if you haven't done it yet. Um, every time you hit the trigger... Oh! Can I not get out here? I guess I can get out there. Uh, it's it's one speed, so you don't hold down the gas or anything like that in a, in a vehicle. Every time you hit up, hit the trigger once, um, or the acceleration button... Oh, he's a good jumper. <laughs> it increases the speed by one. So, uh, you go from canter, trot, walk, down to stop, and then up the way around. So after a bit of a run, that should be enough. Now, this is a daily thing we need to do with these horses. We have to run them uh, to get them in shape, essentially. So let's take him back into the paddock here. So we did, went out for quite a bit. Um, obviously, I cut there and made a bit of a change, but... Oh, I gotta hit that a bit better. Um... Alright, so we'll get off that. So there's our two horses. Now let's take a look in the animal menu. And you can see he's been 95% um, of the day. Now it's kind of funny because that actually lowered his value. <laughs> I can't figure that out for the life of me yet. Um, but Verona still is 100% but hasn't got anything for that. So I'm sure this will be like a day. Yeah. It'll be a, uh, it must be a take a day or two to take care, take uh, note of all that's going on. So we'll leave this as is. I'm going to leave uh, Verona alone and we'll see what happens with rain come tomorrow. So I'll fast forward for one day and we'll see what happens here. All right, so we are back next day. Uh, overnight, I went and picked up some more oats for our horses, but um, at the stroke of midnight, our horses change status. So we'll go back down here. So I was riding rain. Uh, this one here, this horse has gone up uh, roughly 10% in, I think that's quickness. So this is overall health. And this one here, I wasn't 100% sure what that was, but I think I figured it out, but we'll talk about that in a second. So you can see that, uh, yeah, so quickness went up almost 10%. I think if I would have rode, rode, it, rode her a little bit longer, uh, she would have went up 100%, but, or would have went up the full 10. So anyways, um, now the funny thing is if I go to Verona, which we didn't ride, she actually dropped 2% in quickness because we didn't ride her, which is interesting. So if you don't attend to your horses for a couple days, they will actually drop uh, some speed. As you can see now, she, Rain's already gone up a couple thousand dollars in, call, in price. And so now that you notice this here, I just realized what it was. And horses need to be tended to after they, they uh, are ridden for a while. So I have the option to, ri to ride rain, but I also have the option to clean. 
And all it does is I hit B and she's done. She's cleaned. Now let's take a quick look at her. Uh, done. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, so once again, you can see her price is now up a little bit more even. Went up another 500 bucks from just doing that, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, looking good. So all our stuff is all good there. You know what, guys? That is really all there is to it. So we're going to go roughly 10% per day, it looks like, as long as you, uh, you're you taking care of your horse. Uh, so you're going to get... It's going to take you a good week in order to get up to that 100%. But I've, I haven't got a horse up that high yet. I heard it's about $100,000 you get. Maybe I'll do some testing on that right away here. But uh, oh, come on, get through that. <laughs> get through that gate. Uh, they're a little bit finicky. A little bit finicky. But luckily, they don't run away when they're out of the stable. So, anyways. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I've helped answer any questions you might have had in regards to... Come on, get through the gate, the horses. <laughs> there we go. Got her. So, uh, yeah, if I did, make sure you do hit that like button, guys. I would appreciate that. Uh, if you do have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to try and help them where I can, when I can. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Once again, this is Clutch, over and out.